Real Talk, Louis Vuitton, Quality Issues. Hi guys, I hope that you're all having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. This is not a bashing, this is not a rant. I am not an expert, I am not bitter. This is just an open conversation as a consumer and a handbag lover, and I am solely talking about Louis Vuitton. As many of you guys know, Louis Vuitton was my first love when it came to luxury goods, and because of that, and a few other reasons that I will get to a little bit later on in the video, is the main reason why I will always have mad love for the brand. Now, even though I love the brand, I haven't been as eager to purchase from them lately as I did in the past. In the past, uh, I was doing a lot more unboxings, I was adding a lot more pieces to my collection, and I have definitely slowed down these last couple of years. And that main reason is because of quality issues. From peeling leather to melting varnish, I have had my fair share of issues with, uh, with quality throughout the years but I personally don't think that the brand is the same as it once was. Now, I'm not sitting here saying that everything that they currently have, their new collections, everything in the boutique that they have right now is bad across the board. Definitely not, because like I said before, I have been, I have made some purchases these last couple of years and some of those items have been wearing extremely well. I'm just saying that it seems like lately there are more items that have slipped through the cracks, more items that have passed through quality control that shouldn't have than ever before. Now, if you guys watched my latest unboxing, you saw that I did have some issues with that beautiful mini pochette. It did have peeling leather. I personally opted not to exchange it, uh, as beautiful as it was, but someone said it perfectly in the comment section of that video. They said that the fact that I was scared to open the box, it really speaks volumes of the direction that the brand has gone in or of quality concerns in general. The fact that we're sitting here, or I should say, I, I should only speak for myself, the fact that I'm sitting here crossing my fingers, crossing my toes, hoping that the item that I just bought is in good condition, that it has no flaws, that it has no quality issues is crazy because in the past, I never had to do that. I never had to hope for the best. It just was the best. I didn't have to sit there with a loop inspecting every little nook and cranny. It was just, I opened the box and it was it was glorious. <laughs> it was absolutely glorious. And I didn't really, I didn't have any issues. Uh, so it's, it's kind of crazy. And in a sense, it's, it's a little bit heartbreaking, if you will, just because I have so much love for the brand. Um, I know that might seem a little bit silly, but it's kind of heartbreaking to see the direction that it's kind of gone in these last couple of years. They are the number one luxury fashion house in the world, and of course they have a lot of demand. They're constantly coming out with new collections. They're constantly coming out with new designs, pushing the envelope, and causing a frenzy with a lot of these pieces that end up being so incredibly popular, so sought after, that sometimes you see them on the pre-love market for two, three times their retail price. So no one is de is denying their their popularity. No one is denying, uh, you know, the the name of Louis Vuitton. But at the same time, I think that because of the demand and because they are constantly trying to pump out so much product, that I think that it ultimately ends up hurting the quality. And it seems like they end up cutting corners in order to fulfill those quotas. What if they ended up scaling back how many new pieces or how many new collections they end up uh, having for that year, for that season, would that end up helping out? I personally think that their older pieces end up wearing a lot better. For example, their canvas. Their canvas before was a lot thicker. I personally felt that you can really feel the quality of the, uh, of the canvas because of that thickness. It was a little bit heavier. However, it is now a lot more lightweight. There was a method to their madness. The reason why they decided to make it a lot more lightweight and a lot more pliable is because of lot, a lot of the those older pieces that had that beautiful thick canvas also experienced cracking canvas. And as we all know, cracked canvas is something that you cannot take in for repair. You can repair the handles, you can repair this, you can repair all sorts of things on bags for Louis Vuitton, but, but cracked canvas is something that you cannot end up um, taking in. So I love the fact that they they found a way to prevent that from happening by going for the lightweight materials. But at the same time, I feel like there's a fine line between helping the problem and also cheapening out because you have this type of material now. Sometimes that material feels like it's going to fall apart. It feels so incredibly flimsy that it's just, again, when you compare from the older pieces to the newer pieces, it's just, 
it, there's a huge, huge difference. I talked about the wonky handles on my extra small key ball and the reverse monogram eclipse. I still absolutely love this bag, but as you can see, these handles don't end up laying flat up against the bag. Uh, they have definitely gotten better uh, the more and more that I have used this bag but it seems like this is a common thing when it comes to this, either because of the design or because of the stiffness of the leather or because these handles are a little bit smaller. So as I said before, these handles should end up relaxing and they should get flatter as time goes by. But my question is, why not design it so that it doesn't happen from the get-go? Why not design it so you don't have to experience those wonky handles and you don't have to think there and say, hopefully they end up flattening out what if it just was flat or what if they designed it so that you don't have this, you know? So that's, that's one other thing that I wanted to point out. Now this next bit has nothing to do with quality issues, but it's still something that I wanted to point out. And I don't know if you guys have experienced the same thing, but for me, visiting the boutique was such an amazing experience. I love going in, seeing the items on the walls and picking out a new piece. I thought that it was always very magical. I always felt, I, I don't even, I don't even know if I can put it into words, but I always felt like it was such a fabulous experience. And now it doesn't seem that way to me anymore. Uh, it seems like there is no difference between buying a handbag in the boutique and going grocery shopping. It seems like it's very streamlined. It seems like it's very robotic. And I get it. I know that there are a ton of people at any given time in the boutiques. Uh, I mean, you have people waiting in line sometimes for a half an hour, 45 minutes to an hour, just waiting to go in there. And anytime you do end up going into the boutique, there are, there are tons of people inside the store as well. So I think the fact that they did streamline the process is a way to be able to get through those people or to get through as many people as they possibly can. Uh, so I understand that. And they also, I also think that they ended up streamlining it so that you don't have as many time wasters. Uh, people that like to go in there just because with no intention of buying, I mean, that happens everywhere, right? It's not just Louis Vuitton. Uh, I know sometimes I like to go into stores and just browse around and shop around and sometimes I go back you know so uh, I'm not I'm not I'm not talking about that uh, but I, I do realize that they streamlined it for for various reasons but it just seems like it's so it's changed so much like I said it's there's there's just no it doesn't seem like it's as one-on-one -on -one as it once was it doesn't seem like it's just that I don't know. I just don't get the warm and fuzzies that I used to get whenever I'd go into the boutique, hence why I prefer to buy online now. And buying online to me seems like the biggest gamble because you don't know what the item is going to look like. At the boutique, you can look at the item, you can inspect it, you can do all that good stuff, right? Uh, of course, they don't have as much product as they used to have before, uh, but whenever you do order online, there's a gamble because you don't know if the item is going to be good or are you gonna have to exchange it one, two, three times in order for it not to have any flaws, in order for it not to have any issues, or are you gonna have to go through a whole song and dance in order to be able to return it? Because I've also heard that as well. Ultimately, when I think of a luxury brand, I think of premium quality, not just the name. And to a certain extent, it seems like they are just resting on their laurels at this point. That just because of who they are means that they can put shit product out and people will buy it because of the name. And I don't agree with that. Louis Vuitton is a fashion house that's been around for over a hundred years. It has so much heritage, it has so much history. There aren't very many fashion houses that can say the same. So to see it just kind of dwindle down or you know go into a downward spiral because of these quality issues that you end up hearing about so much is just crazy to see. Here's another thing. You wanna charge an arm and a leg for your products? That's fine, but at least have the quality warrant those price points. That's all I'm saying. I know for me personally, I would rather wait a little bit longer for that item to be well-made and I don't have to worry about it having a flaw or having an issue versus it being made quickly and having corners be cut in order for me to have that item. You know, that's just the way that I see it. Like I said before, I have a soft spot for the brand and I think I always will because it was my first love when it came to luxury goods. And many of my forever pieces are from the brand. They have stood the test of time. Yes, they have wear and tear, but there are items that have been with me for what seems like eons and I absolutely love them. And I also get questions on that. Am I going to sell 
them? Am I done with them? Am I just completely just swearing off Louis Vuitton and things like that? Absolutely not. Like I said, some of my forever pieces are the Neverfull, I will always sing that bag's praises, um, and three of my top SLGs of all time, those being the mini pochette, the key pouch, and my favorite of all, the six ring key holder. And even though they have some wear on them, I've had them for what seems like a hundred years and they're still going strong. And I think that's amazing. And when I compare those items that I've pretty much used every single day for the last hundred years compared to some of my new pieces, they're night and day But when it comes to quality because the newer pieces feel flimsier. They feel cheaper. They feel like they're going to fall apart. They feel like they're not going to be able to withstand the wear and tear that I have put the older pieces through. So it's not because something happened. And just because I really like something doesn't mean I'm blind to to some of the things that are surrounding it. In this case, quality issues. And because of those quality issues, I have also taken many breaks from the brand. And at first I was like, oh my God, I'm so sad. I'm, I'm taking the break from Louis Vuitton. I felt like I was, I was breaking up with a boyfriend or what have you. But at the same time, had I not taken those breaks, I wouldn't have been able to, to discover some of the fabulous fashion houses, some of the other fabulous fashion houses that I have within my collection either. You know, because before, I was just all about just Louis Vuitton. That's it. Nothing else, nothing more. Uh, but I have really expanded <laughs> my handbag horizons, if you will. And uh, because, uh, again, because of those... Um, those breaks that I took, I was able to discover other brands and other bags that are also on those forever, uh, on that forever list or what have you. Uh, but no, I'm not completely done with them. What I will tell you is that I'm a lot more, I mean, if I was cautious before, I'm even more cautious of what I decide to add to my collection next, whenever that might be, um, you know, but uh, I do see some of their new collections and I do think that they're beautiful, but because of the same experiences that I've had before, I'm kind of like, oh, I don't no, I'm very, I'm very, um, <laughs> I'm very apprehensive to want to move in that direction as well. And that's something else that I wanted to talk about when it came to quality issues. Um, Louis Vuitton, anytime I had an issue with either a handbag or a small leather good, and I would take my items into the boutique for repair. They were always very, very gracious. They were very helpful. They always righted the wrong, you know, so I was always very, I was always very happy with the customer service that I got in that aspect. All I'm talking about when it comes to this video is just quality issues. The quality issues that are surrounding this fantastic fashion house that has been around for so many, so many years and has so much heritage. And sometimes I feel like it's just, it's really diminishing the, the, the brand as a whole because you hear of so many problems happening and so many issues and so many of this and so many of that, you know? And like I said before, I've, <laughs> I've had my fair share. Um, as many of you know, my Pochette Matisse, that was one of my favorite handbags of all time. Um, I decided not to go for a third one because the first one had issues, the second one had issues, and I had the chance to exchange it for, <laughs> for another one, but third time's not a charm. And even though that bag had so many issues and even though I loved it and, you know, and I had the chance to buy another one, I opted not to buy another one. I decided to go for a completely different handbag, but just because of that experience, doesn't mean I'm going to sit here and say that Pochette Matisse is just a horrible bag. Absolutely not. On the contrary, you will hear me sing its praises time and time and time again. Anytime anyone has asked me, hey, should I go for the Pochette Matisse? Do you think it's a great bag? I will always say, it is an absolutely fabulous bag. <laughs> it is amazing. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out for me. Third time's not a charm for me, you know? <laughs> so I, I decided to make my peace with that bag and I closed that handbag chapter and I opened up another one. I really wish that Louis Vuitton would scale back the number of collections they make a year. Do I think that'll happen? Absolutely not. But still, I can dream. I can hope, right? I can really hope that they end up focusing and paying attention to those details and the quality of the items that they are producing. That way, when people buy something from the brand, they know that they are buying premium quality, a premium quality luxury good, and they don't have to worry about peeling leather or melting varnish or any of those things. They just know, I bought something from a Louis Vuitton and I know it's going to stand the test of time. I don't think that's crazy. And lastly, I know that everyone hasn't gone through the same Louis Vuitton journey, if you will, that I have. I know that there are people out there that haven't had any issues with their items. I know that there are people out there that 
that still get the warm and fuzzies whenever they visit the boutiques, and I think that's wonderful, and I sincerely hope that that continues to happen for them, but unfortunately for me, that hasn't been the case. But just because it hasn't been the case for me lately, that doesn't mean that I'm completely swearing off the brand, that I completely hate it, absolutely not, because I am still rooting for them. I am still hoping that they're gonna be able to turn everything around and once again, be the brand that I knew and love. But that does it for this video. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. What do you think about Louis Vuitton? Are you done with Louis Vuitton? Have you had issues? Have you not had issues? Whatever the case may be, I welcome your guys' comments. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.